Hello everyone, Mike Campbell with Recluse here. Today we're going to be going over EXP 3.0 inspection. Uh, how to inspect it and see if it's worn and what to look for. So right here we got uh, EXP. Um, this guy is used in any of our current auto clutch products. That includes EXP 3.0, Core EXP, Radius X, and Radius CX. This is the guy that will be in there. The part numbers will differentiate between model uh, and also between EXP and Radius X. Uh, but the internals and how to check it all is the same between the two. Is the EXP disc a wearable item? The answer is yes. It has friction material on each side of the disc and there is a minimum thickness. So what we'd like to do is take a set of your calipers. The minimum thickness is 0.416 inches is what we're going to be looking for. You do want to make sure to measure across friction pad to friction pad. You do not want to measure in between the friction pads. You will not get an accurate measurement. Now they can vary in thickness when they're brand new, um, but below 0.416 is the minimum. This guy's coming out 0.445. That's roughly what a new one will be. And again, that will vary between different, different EXP discs. This guy is a used EXP disc. It has been ridden um, for many hours. We don't know exactly how many, but it is well under spec. This guy, when you measure it, is coming in at 0 0.393. So that guy's well under spec and that can cause slipping and it's time to replace these discs. So first we'll just go over how to take apart the EXP. We got quarter turn pins. There's three on this side, three on the other. So when you put your flathead screwdriver on one side and you push, you can see it protrude out the back side, turn it a quarter and it pops right out. Let's continue that, alternating the three on each side. Now you got the inside of your EXP disc. So in here we got our different weighted wedges. These guys are what throw out and expand the disc as they ride up these aluminum ramps here. Inside the wedges we have Teflon pads that we insert into these. These are wearable items. You can replace these for a very inexpensive cost. You can purchase these components individually. You do not have to purchase the entire EXP disc. Um, you can reuse the quarter turn pins and springs and also the wedges and replace just the Teflon pads. So these are rebuildable. If you're not interested in replacing the Teflon pads individually, we do have a prepackaged wedge kit that you can purchase that you can just drop right into the EXP and you're good to go. All right, next we'll be showing you kind of three different stages of wear internally on the EXP disc. If you're, say you're riding and your free play gain is set correctly and you slam on the rear brake, yet the bike is stalling. What that could be caused by is a wedge hanging up on the EXP ramp, which could be either Teflon wear or it could be internal wear on the EXP disc. So we'll kind of show you three different stages of what the wear looks like. This is a new EXP disc. In here, you can clearly see uh, kind of the machine markings that are vertical up and down right there that the Teflons will ride on. As it wears, you'll tend to kind of polish these ramps up a little bit. And so they'll be smooth, normal at you know 20, 30, 50, it depends on how many hours you got on it, but this is what you will typically see for a good functioning EXP that has some time on it. When you start to get the stalling when you slam in the rear brake, typically what you'll find when you take the EXP disc apart is on the insides here, you can see there's an indent where the Teflon pad was riding on the outside of the ramp. And if you slam on the rear brake, that little indent can cause that wedge to hang. And so it doesn't disengage, hence causing the bike to stall. So if you open up your EXP disc and you do see indents inside these ramps, it's most likely time to replace it. Next, we'll kind of go over uh, the EXP wedge wear. When they're new, you'll see these Teflons when they're stamped in there. There's actually quite a bit of excess material right out here because they get stamped in there. So it is normal after a short amount of time that you'll see little tiny white pieces that you can actually kind of pick off around the, the edges there. That's normal. This is a used wedge. It has quite some time on it. It's almost flat. This wedge will still function, but once that wedge, uh, that Teflon gets down to the point to where it can be metal on metal contact, um, that can also cause the wedge to hang up and cause stalling as well. One last thing that I would like to go over with the EXP disc is a burnt EXP disc. Typically, if your clutch has gotten hot enough to call, uh, to call what we call a burn clutch, um, usually you smell it. You pop the clutch cover off and it smells like a burnt barbecue. Um, and typically at that point, you'll see brown around the outside of this. This isn't going to be silver anymore because the oil actually burns to the disc itself. Um, it's gotten extremely hot. Usually at that point, you would really want to check um, the friction pads to see if they are still viable. 
if you take your fingernail and you lightly scrape against this material, there's no material on my thumb here. If that was black and it had gotten that hot, typically just that little bit of scraping, you would get material right there on the top of your, of your thumbnail. So that's one thing you'd want to look for. If you pull out a disc and it's extremely black, rub your fingernail against that. If you get material that flakes off of there, it's time to replace it. I'm Mike Campbell with Recluse. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to check out recluse.com or email us at customer service or tech at recluse.com. Mm -hmm.